What is meant by the mass of an object? What do we mean by mass? Well, mass is so mass is the amount of matter of matter in an object. An object. So we're really talking about how many atoms has it got in it, and in those atoms, how many protons and neutrons are there, which give the atom its mass, or oh, the, the, the amount of matter. So mass is the amount of matter in an object, and a large mass, it's worth noting here that a large mass is, is more difficult, more difficult to accelerate, more difficult to accelerate than a smaller mass. And this, we give this a certain name. We say that the large mass has got a bigger inertia, if you like. But we'll just stick with the idea that the bigger the mass is, the harder it is to get it moving. And here's a typical example. Here's a locomotive train compared to a toy car. Well, this has got a lot more mass. So if you started pushing this train, even if it was well oiled, then it will take you a long time to get it moving to walking pace. But it would be very easy to push this toy car to make it uh, move quite quickly in a short space of time. It's got less mass or less inertia. Okay, let's move on. What is meant by the weight of an object? Well, the weight and mass, they're often confused because people say, oh, how, off, how, how much do you weigh? And then they, they start talking in terms of mass. Well, mass is measured in kilograms, but weight is a force. Weight is a force. So it's measured in newtons, not kilograms, in newtons. And it's a force due to the pull of gravity the pull of gravity well where does gravity come from well gravity actually comes about due to mass I know we feel like we might be going around in circles here but a large mass actually has a large gravitational field if you put these two together a few meters apart and you had very, very sensitive measuring equipment, you would be able to see or be able to detect a very small force pulling them together. And that force you can call weight. It's so small. That this force is so small, you would hardly be able to detect it. Though. That's why we don't walk down the street and start um, being attracted into everybody and sort of uh, 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 stuck together like glue. If the force is so small. But when we start talking about the mass of planets, then the forces are measurable. And so the force acting on a football by the Earth's mass or the Earth's gravity, that's called weight due to the Earth's gravity. And we can measure that weight using a spring balance, for example. The moon is pulled into the Earth by the Earth's gravitational field. And you could think of that as the moon's weight, it's just a big football, really. OK, so weight is a force measured in newtons due to the pull of gravity. How can different weights and masses be compared? Well, there are a number of different ways, but the easiest way of comparing masses is to measure their weight. So if you stuck a mass into a top pan balance, here we are, top pan spring balance, spring balance, then the weight of this mass will pull down and inside there is a spring which compresses and the dial will go around and give us, give us a measurement in newtons. Or the dial could be, uh, could be calibrated to give us kilograms directly. Alternatively, if you've got two masses that you need to compare, you could use a, a pair of weighing scales. And the larger mass would have a larger weight, which would make the pair of weighing scales tip. 
So weighing scales. So those are two ways that we can compare the compare masses and compare weights.